Leading or vertical line spacing are terms used to describe the space between lines of text. As the leading value is increased, so too are the gaps between the lines of text. And like all type formatting, care is required to strike the right balance. Too much leading and your copy will feel disparate and disconnected. Too small and your lines of copy will eventually crash into one another, making them illegible. Broadly speaking, whenever you're dealing with typography, having your leading value set two points larger than the size of the text will give you a good balance. And you'll see this rule adopted by the majority of magazine publications. In fact, nine points of text set on 11 points of leading is very common, but that's not to say it's a hard or fast rule. You can experiment with the size of your copy and the leading value to reach a desired end result. It just depends on the kind of publication you want to create. Take for example your weeklies such as chat and take a break. Both of those cram lots of copying by having point sizes of say 10 set against 11 points of leading. This adds to their almost temporary throwaway feel. Whereas publications such as Esquire use 8 points of copy on 12 points of leading which breathe space into their pages and layouts and reinforces a refined design aesthetic. So it's not a case of right or wrong or good versus bad. It's just whichever is most appropriate for your publication.